While most of us fret about an extra kilo or two once in a while, for some, their struggle with weight is in an entirely different league. For these people, we are talking about hundreds of kilos, and their battle is not just with the flab, it's a life or death struggle. Here are the fattest people in the world. But before we jump into number one, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. Paul Mason. The 52-year-old Paul Mason was once considered the world's fattest man, weighing in at a shocking 980 pounds or 444.5 kilograms. He used to consume 20,000 calories a day, which is 10 times what a normal man consumes. He one time said he knew it was killing him, but he could not stop. It started when he suffered a heartbreak in his 20s, at the time of his father's death and the deterioration of his mother's health. Jobless as he was, he still managed to spend a whopping £30,000 or $46,000 a year on food. He was told to undergo a gastric bypass or risk a certain death. After surgery, he went down to £560 or 181 kilograms. I love my weight, I love my size and I'd like to even be bigger. Donna Simpson. This American woman expressed a desire to become one of the world's heaviest women in 2008. She wished to attain a target weight of 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms. She said that her and her family's food costed $582 to $750 per week. And she ate 12,000 calories per day in order to attain her goal of a 1,000 pound or 450 kilograms body weight. In June 2010, Simpson weighed 602 pounds or 273 kilograms, down from her weight of 630 pounds or 290 kilograms, which she had in 2008. During the process, Simpson maintained a website where fans paid to watch her eat. In 2010, she won the Guinness World Records for the heaviest woman to give birth. In August 2011, Simpson decided to go on a diet to reduce her weight to a target of 370 pounds or 170 kilograms in order to become more self-sufficient and be able to do a better job of raising her children. Manuel Europe. Manuel Europe is known for having ballooned to the weight of six men. On a diet of tacos and pizzas, he reached a peak weight of around 1,316 pounds or 597 kilograms and was bed-bound. When he was born, he weighed a very average 7.5 pounds. He always had a big appetite, but it wasn't until he hit his 20s when his problems began. In 1927, he got married and moved to the US for work. When he left, his weight was 280 pounds or 127 kilograms. He said life in the US was very sedentary. He only moved from his home to his desk, where he sat at his desk the whole day. Combined with the fast food diet of the US, his weight ballooned to 550 pounds or 249 kilograms. He began developing a growth on his right thigh, restricting his movement. When the weight became too much for him, Manuel started to reduce on his weight, with the help of doctors and nutritionists, he reduced his weight to 790 pounds or 360 kilograms. In mid-2009, it was falsely reported that Manuel had died, but he finally died in 2014. Khalid bin Mohsen Shari. In his late teenage years, Khalid had ballooned to unimaginable 1,345 pounds or 610 kilograms and was making news headlines in 2013. He was at one point, the world's heaviest man. So far, Khalid with his 1,345 pounds weight comes second after John Brower Minich, the heaviest person ever, who weighed about 1,400 pounds or 635 kilograms. Fortunately for him, his excessive weight got the attention of the King of Arabia. The King intervened by ordering him to be hospitalized. He managed to lose 700 pounds in the process. He underwent a series of dietary and physical programs in order to help him lose weight. In November 2017, Al Arabiya reported that he had lost 1,195 pounds or 542 kilograms and now weighs 1,500 pounds or 68 kilograms. Kenneth Brumley. Kenneth Brumley gained the attention of the world when he appeared in Channel 4 on a documentary known as, Half Ton Dad. A father of four, who weighed almost 1,032 pounds or 468 kilograms, and had been bed-bound for four years. He was later accepted as a gastric bypass patient at the Renaissance Hospital in Houston, Texas. However, to get him out of the house to the hospital, a fire crew had to demolish a wall to pull him out. 
His first step in his treatment was to restrict him to a diet of 1,200 calories a day. On the diet, he lost 76 kilograms in 40 days. Doctors had to do the gastric bypass in stages, in addition to removing 18 kilograms tumors from between his legs. Mara Rosales. Mara Elizabeth Rosales is an American woman known for being the heaviest living woman at one point. At her heaviest, she weighed 470 kilograms or 1,036 pounds. She came to prominence in March 2008, when her sister was jailed for murdering her two-year-old nephew, a murder to which Rosales had originally falsely confessed. She decided to get her life back in order to get custody of her sister's children, who had no parents to take care of them at that time. Terry Smith. A woman who was once believed to be the world's fattest woman in 2010 at 320 kilograms or 700 pounds, was facing a battle to shed weight after being told by doctors she could die. Terry Smith was confined to her bedroom in her Ohio home, unable to move, stand, or roll over by herself, setting the new world record for the fattest woman in 2010. She relied on her husband and oldest daughter to do everything for her. Juan Pedro Franco. Juan Pedro Franco of Mexico was so obese that he had been bed-bound for nearly a decade before he finally received gastric bypass. His overweight condition was partly because of a severe thyroid condition. He left his homestead weighing 1,314 pounds or 595 kilograms to undergo surgery at a specialized clinic. After two successive operations, he managed to lose over 670 pounds or 304 kilograms. He finally lost about 140 kilograms after his last surgery and was able to get out of bed and walk. Zambic Katakov. Known as Jambic. At 11 years, Jambic had a weight of 324 pounds or 147 kilograms and a height of 157 centimeters, setting the world record for the fattest child in the world. At birth, he weighed 2.89 kilograms, which is a reasonable weight for a baby. However, by the time he reached a year old, he weighed 12.7 kilograms, and at age 3, he was lifting weights as heavy as 3 kilograms. At age 6, he was 71 kilograms, and since then he was gaining nearly 50 kilograms every year on a diet of porridge and ice cream. His mother Nelia did not believe that his weight called for a concern. She said the jambic was just growing. However, Jambic was an active child who practiced wrestling five days a week and went swimming often. Andre Nasser. Andre was considered the fattest man in Australia. Before he was removed from his house and hospitalized, he weighed 1,036 pounds or 470 kilograms. He however, managed to lose 200 kilograms and learn how to walk again. Katrina Ryford. Katrina Ryford is an American woman who was once considered to be the heaviest woman in the world, weighing 955 pounds or 433 kilograms. At age 14, she weighed close to 500 pounds or 230 kilograms. As an adult, Ryford continued to gain weight and unable to deal with her emotional issues, she eventually lost her job and moved back in with her mother. Ryford became known as the half-ton woman before she lost half her body weight. She was inspired to do that in December 2003, when she had to be bulldozed out of her house, after calling for help due to breathing difficulties. For five years until that point she had been bedridden. It took Ryford three years to lose close to 300 pounds. Following that accomplishment in 2005 she became eligible for the gastric bypass surgery and lost a total of close to 500 pounds.